at this juncture, allow me also now to invite the Deputy President, Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Samuel Samoy Ruto, to also convey his remarks. Wananchi watoka tunawaomba tuweze kutulia kwa heshima ya baba yetu. Your Excellency the Deputy President. Thank you very much Bishop. Mheshimiwa Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta Rais wa Jamhuri yetu ya Kenya na Amiri Jeshi Mkuu Mama Margaret Kenyatta Mama wetu wa Taifa Familia ya Rais wetu wa tatu Judy na familia yako Jimmy na familia yako David na familia yako Arata amwai wake wake Moriega Moriega Renge Mwadani Agosho Ngai no Moega Na ende shode Anda mwai kibaki He made sure that motorbikes were zero rated and that is when Boda Boda came into being and today it is a sector that hires close to 1.4 million Kenyans. He was great but he was also simple. At a very personal level again when I was promoted to the Ministry of Higher Education and we had a backlog of university students, under his guidance again, we managed to have another double intake that henceforth removed the backlog that students had to wait for at least two years to be able to go to university after they complete their Form 4. When I became his Minister for Agriculture, and me and my peers, Romano Kiome, went to see him about the challenges we were having in fertilizer, which had gone up to about 5,000 shillings a 50 kilogram bag. His wisdom and understanding gave us the opportunity under his guidance to reduce the prices of fertilizer to 2,500 and the first subsidized fertilizer in Kenya was brought about by the third president, President Mwai Kibaki. I think a befitting send-off to all of us as we celebrate the third president of Kenya is for us to go into this election and make sure that election will be peaceful and that it won't be necessary for us to have a handshake, that the election will be peaceful. I think we owe it to President Mwai Kibaki as we send him off. Under President Kibaki's guidance, my peers at the Ministry of Higher Education, Professor Kiamba and I, under his guidance, we started to roll out the Tibet program that President Uhuru Kenyatta has built upon. And that is why we have close to 200 Tibet institutes across the country. So, at a very personal level, I can attest, and I am a witness,
and I, and I can bear testimony that Mwai Kibaki is the father of modern day Kenya. And therefore, it is befitting that we celebrate his life and we learn lessons from him. To the people of Thongori and Odaya, thank you very much for bringing up a great Kenyan who today we are celebrating. Tunawashkuru sana. Mzee, baba wetu Mwai Kibaki, kutoka hapa, dongori hapa, odaya, katika kijiji ambacho ni kama ile ya Bethlehemu ya Yesu ambaye haikuwa inajulikana sana. Lakini, he accomplished many things. From here, he became a great scholar. He became a great economist. He became a great leader. And of course, a great president and a father of the nation. If there is a demonstration of bottom-up, we can learn from Mwai Kibaki. 